Hello, everyone. Welcome to the InnaCraft Education Center. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Max Gray sprayer so that you can start up your project. Assembling your new sprayer couldn't be easier. It's practically complete right out of the box. If you get the M3 Plus sprayer, you need to install the cart first. To do this, get all components ready and lift the upper handle to an upright angle. Put the washer into the space between the upper handle and the lower cart frame. Insert the bolt through this hole. Make sure the square is fully inserted and then tighten the knob from the other side. Do the same way to the other side. And that's it. To set up your sprayer, first, connect the paint hose to the sprayer at the outlet valve and tighten it with a wrench. Connect the gun to the other end of the hose. Use two wrenches to tighten the connections. If the hose is already connected, make sure the connections are tight. This is a compression style fitting, so it's very important to fully tighten. If you don't get this fitting tight enough, you could cause a leak and damage to the sealing surface. Then, you need to install the spray tip. Insert spray tip properly into the spray tip guard. Screw and tighten the spray tip guard assembly onto the gun Double check that the gun trigger lock is engaged. Again, if the tip, guard and gun handle is already connected, make sure the connections are tight. Third, turn the pressure control knob counterclockwise all the way down to the lowest setting. Make sure the power switch is off. Now, plug the sprayer into a grounded wall outlet and that's it. Let's get ready to start the sprayer. To start up the sprayer, you need to go through the following essential steps. Pressure relief procedure. Quick tube cleaning. Prime the pump, fill the hose and gun. To prevent serious injury from pressurized fluid, you need to conduct a pressure relief procedure before starting or performing any cleaning and maintenance. To do this, turn the power off, engage the gun trigger lock, turn the pressure control knob to the lowest setting, turn the prime spray valve into prime, Hold the metal part of the gun firmly to a grounded metal pail. Disengage the gun trigger lock and trigger the gun to relieve pressure. Engage the gun trigger lock again. With the pressure relief procedure complete, the next thing we need to do is to flush out the storage fluid. Make sure the power is off. Separate the drain tube from suction tube and place drain tube in a waste pail. Submerge the suction tube into a pail filled with water if spraying water-based material or mineral spirits if spraying oil-based material. Be sure the sprayer is still in the prime position. Press the push start button twice to loosen the inlet valve ball. Rotate the pressure control knob to the clean, power on the sprayer. When the sprayer starts pumping, flushing fluid will flow up the suction tube and out the drain tube. Allow it to circulate the sprayer until the fluid flows smoothly out of the drain for 30 seconds. Lower the pressure and turn power off. Your sprayer is now flush, clean, and ready to get primed. To prime the pump, move the suction tube to the paint pail and submerge the suction tube into paint. Put the drain tube to the waste pail. Check the prime spray valve remains at the prime position. Power on the sprayer. Increase the pressure control until the motor starts. Wait to see the paint flow smoothly out of the drain tube and then lower the pressure and power off your sprayer. Now that the pump is primed, we have to get the hose full of paint. To do this, rotate the spray tip to unclog position. Hold the gun against the waste pail, disengage the gun trigger lock. Pull and hold the gun trigger, turn prime spray valve to spray. Power on the sprayer and increase the pressure. Trigger the gun into a waste pail until you see a steady flow of paint coming out of the gun. Lower the pressure control to the lowest setting. Release the gun trigger and engage the gun trigger lock. Power off the sprayer. Transfer drain tube to the paint pail and clip it to suction tube. Rotate the spray tip back to the spray position to get ready. You are now ready to spray. Before I start to spray, I always like to test out my spray pattern on a piece of cardboard or scrap material. This will ensure you have everything down before you start. We're just looking to ensure we have a full and even fan pattern. Now, you can work on your projects. Let's learn about how to clean up the sprayer in the next episode. Thanks for watching in a craft education center and happy spraying. We are always here to help.